my way to get my first Lawrence Petros pedal. Should be cool. Okay, on my way home to do my first unboxing. So, a little backstory. Notice I'm getting just a tad of signal loss. Not sure where it's at. There's supposed to be a buffer in the DS1. And I don't know if the rest of them aren't all true bypass. But I ran my AB test. I ran to this Princeton Reverb and noticed just a tad of signal loss. When I went straight to the amp or through the pedal port. Seemed like about a maybe 5 dB difference. You can always make it up with a spark booster. But I figured why try that? Let's try to go with a buffer. So I've kind of been a Lawrence Petros fan ever since R.J. Ronquillo had posted some of his great videos. So I decided to give it a go. I saw Lawrence Petros was going to be coming up on the Ben Coombs show. So I made sure I turned into Ben and asked Lawrence directly my questions. I'm running out of a little bit of power over there. So I need a little help. So I needed an 18 volt pedal. So I'd ask Lawrence directly, will it run on 18 volt? He said yes. So we're gonna give her a go. Let's do the unbox. And here we go. Got my trusty guitar hack bug. My very, very dull Stanley. Let's see what Lawrence has sent me. Well, you see it comes in a nice little bag. Ooh, an LPD stickers of Mundo. Thank you, Lawrence. Let's see what we've got here. There's some feet. Won't be needing them. Comes in a nice little bag. Super mini. Didn't expect it to be quite as mini as it is. So that's a plus. Let's get her out. Da, 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 da. Lawrence Petros Designs. And by the looks of what I'm seeing here, 9 or 18 volt. Perfect. Very well made. Love the red. It's going to add a little color to the board. Can't wait. You dig in a little deeper. My receipt. I have a thank you so much, Tim, with an official Lawrence Petros signature. Thank you, Lawrence. Now, here's where you guys come in signal chain. Dry baby to the Octron Octave Divider. To my SP exotic compressor, to my soul food, to my DS1, to my governor 2, to a Donner noise killer, to my spark booster, then back to my carbon copy, and to my ditto. So, are we going to go front of the chain? Are we going to go somewhere in the middle of the chain? Or do we need a buffer at the end of the chain? Excuse the beat, buddy. It'll be going to make some room. So it's up, to, it's up to you guys. Pick me a spot. Put it in the comments. And then I'll rearrange the board. Thanks, guys. It's a day of first. First Lawrence Petros pedal.
first produced YouTube content. Everybody have a good one. See ya.